Welcome, Oris, and welcome to another comparison. Here, we are looking at two watches from the Aquaterra family. The Aquaterra 41 in olive and the Aquaterra World Timer in blue. Coming from the same manufacturer and same subcategory within Omega's four pillar collection, these watches are bound to share many similarities, but their functions and features create a differentiating factor which makes them both unique. Here are the dimensions. Both watches have 60 hours of power reserve and 150 meters of water resistance. The Aquaterra comes in at 41 millimeters with a lug width of 20 millimeters, a lug to lug of 47.5 millimeters and a thickness of 13.5 millimeters. The World Timer has a case diameter of 43 millimeters, a lug width of 21 millimeters, a lug to lug of 50.3 millimeters and a thickness of 14.1 millimeters. Looking at the cases, we can clearly see a difference in size, which is one of the most differentiating aspects other than the dial. Both cases have the signature Aquaterra look with twisted lugs and crisp transitions from brushed to polished finishing. Their side profiles are similar, but you can see the World Timer is a little thicker to accommodate its added mechanisms. There is a one millimeter difference in the lug width between the two. However, this creates a whole world of difference when taking into account strap options. If you're looking to throw the watch on a strap, the Aquaterra 41 will have a wider array of options compared to the 21mm strap requirement on the World Timer. The lug to lug distances also impact the wearing experiences of these watches. The Aquaterra 41 has a comfortable distance to ensure the lugs don't hang off the wrist on most people. The World Timer, on the other hand, has quite a long lug to lug at 50.3 millimeters. This starts to create problems for those with smaller wrists, where the lugs may hang over. But if you have larger wrists, this shouldn't be an issue. Winding a watch is something I enjoy doing. However, the Aquaterra crown leaves something to be desired. The shape of the crown is great. It's dynamic and interesting with a slight taper, but it's not as grippy as it looks. The point of contact is rather small and I found it requires more force to wind when compared to other watches. Now, as you can see, just from winding it a few times, it's already leaving imprints on my fingers. Now the point of contact is kind of around this edge area on the crown so it can feel a little sharp. Now this problem is kind of remedied in the world timer though. Now it's not because of a redesigned crown so as you can see it still maintains the same shape and design as the one found on Aquaterra 41 but because of its increased size it does feel much better to wind. Having a larger crown allows for more surface area to grip on and I found it much easier and smoother to wind than my Aquaterra 41. Now whereas on the 41 most of that uh, point of contact was around the edge. On the World Timer, I find that my fingers can really grab and grip onto uh, the whole crown there. So the size difference really does help in the winding department. Now we come 
to the dial. This is where the world timer is, well, worlds apart. It incorporates many intricate details and design elements which match its function as a world timer. And it just looks so damn stunning. They both share the same indices and hands, which are both excellently finished with brushing, polishing, and facets to make them stand out and legible, which is much appreciated, especially against the world timer's busy dial. Now, if we disregard the world at the center, the world timer features a vertical pattern which resembles longitude lines on a globe, while the Arcoterra 41 features horizontal lines which resemble a teak deck found on yachts. The world timer illustrates many shades of blue which work together to highlight its elements, acting as eye candy as well as clever canvases which segment the dial and guide the eyes. It's obvious that the Arcoterra 41 has a much simpler dial, but that doesn't mean it hasn't received attention or detail. The dial is beautifully finished with an olive green sunburst effect, which truly adapts to different lighting situations. Both watches have the same steel bracelet, with the only difference being the 21 mm lug width on the world timer versus the 20 mm lug width on the Arcoterra 41. As such, you can expect the same from both watches. Simple, comfortable, and lacking in micro adjustment. Now, just because the bracelets are the same, that doesn't mean the wearing experience is the same. Both bracelets are thin in comparison to the watch head. They both have a butterfly style fold over clasp, which creates a sleek and slim look and ties in well with the sleek and slim links but this is where we find some issues the thin links create an unbalanced feeling on the wrist now these watches can feel top heavy at times which is more evident on the larger and heavier world timer so that is something to keep in mind when you're considering between the two The World Timer packs a lot into its package. It's bold and makes a statement with its fantastic dial and presents a bounty of useful functionality in an aesthetically pleasing layout. The Aquaterra 41, on the other hand, features time and date with a jumping hour hand. Sure, its dial isn't as striking, it's smaller in stature, and it's simply simple in comparison but this is exactly why i love it so much this comparison to me clearly illustrates less is more personally i get more enjoyment from the aquaterra 41 i don't need the fancy intricacies and details found on the world timer i'm content with getting lost in the deep olive dial of the aquaterra 41. It does more than enough to keep your attention. Now, I'm not saying the world timer is bad. It's an absolute beast of a watch. Where the Aquaterra keeps your attention, 
the world timer attracts it. Its dial for me is its main draw, and it's just so well done. One can find themselves lost in its dial, lost in their own little world, the world of the world timer. Both of these watches are great choices. I'd recommend the 41 for smaller wrists or even the 38 millimeter Aquaterras. If you have larger wrists or like striking, eye-catching, unique timepieces, the World Timer is probably for you. Thank you for watching the video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing for more watch content. I'll see you in the next one.